Hello, algebra students. Let's go ahead and look at this concept of evaluating algebraic expressions, which people think is harder than it is. A lot of panic sets in, and this is actually very simple. It's very straightforward. Let's go ahead and take a look. So first example here says evaluate y cubed for y equals 2. And a lot of students are freaking out like, Kate, why did you start putting letters in math? You know, you're the devil. You want to torture me. That's just simply not the case. I want to show you something. And that is there's not really actually a mystery letter here anymore. Right from the start, the mystery is solved. Look what it says. It says evaluate y cubed for y equals 2. Mystery solved. <laughs> All right. Why is not some unknown freaky thing that you don't know about that you don't understand? Why is two? That's what that equal sign means. And so the very first thing we can do is we can replace y with a two. Now I want you to get in a really, really good habit that whenever you're dealing with an exponential expression, so we've got an exponent on it, you use parentheses. It doesn't actually matter in this case, but it matters a lot when you have negative numbers. So I'm just going to enclose that parentheses. That whole thing, that whole two is going to get cubed, raised to the third power. So that step is known as substitution. Now, if you did unit zero with us, you know how to do this entire thing in your calculator where you don't even have to do that first step. And good for you. That's awesome. If you know how to do it, if not, go back and practice that from the calculator lesson. But for college algebra, you have to know how to do this step. That's called substitution. That's when you trade out any letters. We traded Y for a known value. We know what Y is. It's two. So we did the substitution that you're going to need for algebra. And now it's time to simplify, do the math. And once again, if you do any of this in the GED in the G on the GED test, you'll have the calculator. So not only could you do the substitution in your calculator, you could also do the simplification in your calculator. You could literally just type in two and then the caret to the third power and you would simplify it. But keeping with what we've been practicing since we practiced exponents as well. I'm going to simplify this by hand. I know what two to the third power means. It means two multiplying, careful, not adding, by itself three times. So two times two is four, and four times two is eight, not six. Careful now. Don't do the beginner rookie mistake of just multiplying those two numbers together. So now we are done. We've evaluated y to the third power when we know that y is two. Okay. The letter just disappeared because we knew what it was. Okay. Let's move a little faster here. So this one, evaluate five x squared. Looks scary, but then look, mystery solved for x equals three. X isn't a mystery. X isn't unknown anymore. Mystery solved. I know what X is. And so let me just be really neat because for those of you who struggle with algebra, you are going to be challenged by doing this substitution step by hand. So I'm going to come right underneath the expression. Okay, you guys. Um, a lot of you are messed up not by algebra, but by your secretarial skills. So I'm substituting. And so I'm going to replace x with the known value. It's 3. Okay. Now remember what I said. If you put it in an exponential expression, you have an exponent. See it? You want to use parentheses. So I'm going to put parentheses around that 3. Okay. Now look at the blue there. I traded the x. I substituted it out for a 3. But the rest of the numbers, the operations here, they're important. Don't drop them, OK? So I had a 5 in my original expression. See how I'm going straight down underneath? Yeah, I dropped that straight down underneath. I had a square in my original expression. Now, a lot of students want to write that x again. Don't write that x again, guys. We substituted it out. It's not a mystery anymore. Mystery solved. And so the x is gone. It got replaced by a 3. 
And now this is another place where you can type this entire expression into your calculator. Once again, you don't have to know how to do this by hand. So if you are a struggling student, just go ahead and type this into your calculator. Let's practice one skill at a time. But if you're ready to flex, let's practice our order of operations here. You might say, Kate, why do you want the order of operations? Well, there's more than one thing to do here. There's a couple of things uh, to simplify, a couple of operations going on. So what are they? Well, I see the five shoved up against the three with nothing between them. So that five is multiplying. But I also see the three in the parentheses with the square on it. So that three has an exponent on it. It's being squared. And remember, when we simplify, we do groupings first. A lot of people go, okay, there's the grouping. It's the parentheses. Look inside parentheses for a grouping. Is there any work to do inside? No, so no grouping. Next thing we should do is any exponents, okay? So we need to deal with that exponent before we can do the multiplication. So this, the three to the squared, it, or three to the squared, oh my goodness, the three squared or three to the second power. That's what we need to deal with first. So three squared, again, it's not six, remember. It means three times three or three multiplying by itself. And so I get nine. That whole three squared is replaced by nine. It's kind of like you're substituting again, isn't it? Three squared means the same as nine. So I can trade one out for the other. But I need to drop down anything I haven't used. I haven't used the five. Notice the parentheses are still there because I still haven't done the multiplication and I want to signal that. And now it's time to do that. So five times nine is 45. Nice job, nice job. But again, I will remind you, <laughs> if you look at the evaluating expressions in the calculator video, then you can do this entire thing <laughs> in your calculator, like literally from this step on. So two ways to do it, the way we did it now, really important skill for college, but if your only goal is to pass the test, hit up that calculator video, get it done in a hurry, and let's get you through this thing. All right, you guys, happy learning.